Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for coming here to watch this one. In today's video, I am going to be trying a little experiment and I will be trying to sublimate on a Dollar Tree mug. I have heard a lot of people say that you cannot sublimate on a Dollar Tree mug and that a Dollar Tree mug will actually not sublimate, but I do want to try it out for myself. Maybe I have a different mug. I do know that this mug right here is a straight mug and I have seen other people try it on a on a curved mug. There's another word for it. I just can't think of it right now. This mug is a straight mug. So I do want to go ahead and experiment and try to see if it will sublimate because if it will sublimate, you know, these mugs are only a dollar from Dollar Tree. That would be great just because of how cheap this mug is. The small Cricut mugs are about $3 a piece and the large Cricut mugs, the 15 ounce Cricut mugs, are about $4.50 each. This mug is a dollar each. So I do want to try it out and see if these will sublimate. So if you guys do enjoy this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. And also if you're new and you wanna see more DIY videos or just some of our personal vlogs, be sure to subscribe and also hit the little bell. If you hit the little bell, it will notify you when we post our next video. And let's get right into the video. And if you guys are new to our channel, we do use the ASUB sublimation paper. And today, since we are doing a mug and we just need a small print, I will be using the eight and a half by 11 sublimation paper. I have all of the supplies linked down in the description of this video. If you guys are looking for any of the supplies that we're using in this video, on Amazon, they also have the 13 by 19 for larger images. Like always, I like to show our printer and we are using the Epson ET15000. It is the Eco Tank, so it's really easy to refill our inks right in here. This is just an easy printer to convert. We really didn't have to convert it technically, just because your sublimation ink just goes right into these cartridges. Super simple to convert or to change over to a sublimation printer. Once again, it does print also a 13 by 19 back there and our eight and a half by 11 does feed through the bottom tray. All right guys, and this is the image that I'm going to be using today. And I purchased this SVG or PNG off Etsy. It's super cute, it has the little Starbucks logo and just has this bulldog on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click my image. We're not in any software or profile. It just says bulldog PNG, file, print. This box right here is going to drop down. And this isn't really a tutorial on how to print a sublimation print. So I'm just gonna quickly go through these settings. Epson series three, default settings. Copies one, pages all, US letter size eight and a half by 11, vertical, auto rotate off, preview, media quality best, layout, oops, layout, flip horizontally so our image is not backwards or our words are not backward. Paper handling is going to be scale to fit paper size. And I'm just gonna check what I just did. I go to preview and I'm gonna scale it down because obviously that's way too huge for a mug. And I usually just guess on the size. So I'm gonna drop it down to 45. 25. And I'm probably gonna go ahead and put two on this page. And today I'm not using the Cricut Design Space. You can use Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna to try to do it without it because I'm just gonna cut these images out and tape it to the mug. I am just gonna go ahead and try it at 22%. Like I said, you can use Cricut Design Space and it has a whole template for you to use. In this video, I'm just trying to experiment and see if I can supplement a Dollar Tree mug and print. ahead and let that print dry for about 10 minutes just so that I don't smudge the ink. And while that is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and get my Cricut Mug Press preheating. And this Cricut Mug Press is super nice for sublimating mugs. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Now that it's been about 10 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out both of these dogs and then I'll show you guys how I take them onto the mug. clean this off with some alcohol. I just took a paper towel and put a little bit of alcohol on it. You can use some cotton swabs and some alcohol as well. I'm gonna take my prints and tape them to the mug. You just wanna take your sublimation print and then just place it wherever you want it. You wanna just use this blue heat tape or any type of heat tape. And we just buy this Cricut heat tape. You can get a bunch of it on Amazon and I will also link that down in the description. We do want to try out that Amazon um, heat resistant tape as well. So I'm just gonna find the center of the mug, 
you just want to tape that print right onto the cup. I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. Then you want to grab a piece of butcher paper and wrap it over the top of those images and tape it down. And you just want to get it around the mug and make sure it's covering all of the print. And you just want to get it as tight as you can. And the mug press is already preheated and I'm ready to see how it turns out. So you just lift this up and it opens up the press. Then you just want to set your cup down in there, push it all the way to the bottom. And you wanna make sure that your blue pads in here are covering the sublimation print. It does fit in there really tight, but I don't think it moved the image. We can go ahead and press it down. And your mug only has to stay in there for about five minutes. I do normally take mine out at four minutes just to keep it from burning. For some reason, mine does scorch at five minutes. So I do like to take it out at the fourth dot right here. So let me show you guys. So automatically when you put your mug in, the first dot will light up. When it gets to the fifth dot, that's when the timer goes off and you can take out your mug. All my mugs have turned out really nice on four dots and I would definitely recommend not waiting till the five dot mark or the five minute mark. And your mug is going to be very hot, so you need to have a glove or a piece of fabric to go ahead and take that mug out. Today I'm just gonna be using a scrap t-shirt and you do want to have another t-shirt or a mat for you to set the mug on because it will melt your mat unless it is heat resistant. And now I'm gonna wait for about 10 minutes for the mug to cool off a little bit and then we will go ahead and reveal our cup and see if we actually have a print on this cup. All right guys, so it's been about 10 minutes. It's kind of cooled off right now. I'm still gonna use this Cricut tool to take off the print just so that I don't burn myself. So I'm just gonna poke it in here and take off this butcher paper. I really hope that it actually worked. All right guys, are you ready? One, two, three. Okay, so it definitely did not sublimate. Let me pull this closer so you guys can see. It just left some ink on there. So this specific Dollar Tree mug does not have a poly coating, so you cannot sublimate on this coffee mug, unfortunately and it did the same thing on this side. Yeah, that's a little sad. I was hoping it was a different Dollar Tree mug that was not sublimating, and this one did look a little bit different than the others, but unfortunately, this one also does not sublimate, but I just wanted to show you guys, and I also wanted to experiment for myself and see if it would work, and it does not, so yeah. All right guys, and that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy watching me experiment with sublimation on a Dollar Tree mug. If you did, give me a big thumbs up, and also subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.